What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back and uh, playing a little uh, Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods. Um, I had a ton of fun with Doom Eternal back when it came out, and uh, it should be more of the same. It, it's just more Doom Eternal, which can't complain about. And uh, yeah, oh boy. Hmm. Enemies throw power attacks more often and deal significant damage. I could be a little bitch and play hurt me plenty, but we're we're gonna play ultra violence. That's that's kind of the intended. Uh, yeah, I think we'll play ultra violence. I might be a bit rusty too, so I may get my dick completely smashed in early on here. Just out of, I haven't really played the game a ton. Uh, I, I played it for probably about a month or so. And I will actually, I, I actually am going to turn, I'll turn the music back on as well. Uh, I turned it off because I was sitting and watching something. Uh, getting my OBS updated and setting everything up. Uh, but, yep. Is this a cutscene? Um. Okay. Previously on Doom Eternal. Forces of hell had descended on Earth, and the Doom Slayer returned in defense of mankind. The Hell Priests were cast down, and the Slayer carried his vengeance to the heavens themselves to end the demonic invasion. There, he challenged the Makers, Angels of Deceit, and defeated the ancient Khan who had led them astray. The conquest of Earth had been halted, but now a new threat has risen. <sighs> Not paying me enough to do this. The demons that remain in Erdak have corrupted the once holy realm and threatened to use the higher dimension as. New pathway for conquest. If they are not banished, all of existence is at risk. To stop them, the Slayer must now journey to find the Sephirim, a mysterious figure from his past whose whereabouts until now have remained unknown. Only he can guide the Slayer uh, to the one being capable of sealing Erdak back off from the demons once again. Oh boy. I knew it was here. Sir! Weather's disrupting the signal, but we'll be able to teleport him onto the rig's main deck. Uh, Dr. Hayden, ready to launch the package, sir. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> we cannot regain control of Erdak without the Seraphim's help. You broke the seal when you awakened the Icon of Sin in their world. The balance between their two dimensions has been broken with the demons now in control of Erdak. Portal ready in three, two... Oh, hell yeah. Probably way more epic with music. It was still pretty cool even without music, but... Necessary step in saving Earth from the demons, but it came at a price. Hold on one second. I'm going to uh. Alright, 
Ooh, do I wait? Do I have all weapons? Oh hell yeah! The Unmaker. Sick. Oh, y'all motherfuckers done. The UAC won't hand over the Seraphim without a fight. Yeah? Oh boy. Alright, that's probably a bit overkill there, but, you know. in the swing of things. It's not here. Ooh, shotgun shells, nice. Need a blue card to access that door. Oh, hello! Oh man, I'm not used to this. This feels weird. On the blue card. Head back up top. Oh boy. Whoa. Who the fuck? Oh, I'm an idiot. Piss off, meatball. I'm all right. Goodbye. Bye, have a great time. Oh, 
Oh shit, what the? No, not a mancubus! Oh my god, I didn't know he was there. Holy shit, I just got bodied. Alright, yeah, maybe I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. But, uh, I learned the hard way. But god damn, that guy melted me very quickly, to say the least. All right, well, this time I know, at least, right? Ow, holy mother of God. Ooh, that was close. I nearly ate shit there. Oh boy. Nah, ah, uh, yeah, this room sucks. I'm out. I, I'm out of here. I don't really have time to read lore right now, so, uh, yeah. Slain. All right, that fuel. Wee. All right. Well. Mick Gordon isn't making the music anymore. It still sounds cool, but it's not the same. Does the why? I want this, honestly. Alright, y'all. Y'all, y'all fucked up. Absolutely rolled. This is fine.
Oh boy. Holy, that was a battle, to say the least. Whew. That was such a long fight, too. Uh, I should have went and got this during the fight. I didn't even notice it was there. I didn't really need it, though, to be fair. I felt like there was enough room there that I didn't... I wasn't, like... There was a few points where there was a lot of enemies, but I was able to maneuver in a way that I got away from most of them at some point. Okay, so the game wants me to punch something. there and see it. Is there a barrel? smoke up his ass. He's not that cool. Red key card. Ah, oh, 
this is not. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I have, I was not prepared for that. Holy shit, I got boxed in really fast. This checkpoint should just load me right outside the building, I'm assuming. And I was just in or whatever. This is definitely harder though. Like the biggest reason is it seems like they're just more with like there's just so many bigger enemies at the same time, like holy moly. Uh, I don't have the other mod equipped. What just happened? What happened to my game? Oh my god, I think I just crashed. Oh my lord, I think I just crashed. Okay, dude. Alright, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I stabbed that Mancubus so hard, uh, my, it caused my entire game to crash. I'm gonna blame Bethesda on that one. And, uh, yeah, so, looks like we're probably gonna have to do that fight over again, unfortunately. Although, I don't think I was that far into it, but... Let's see if, uh, if this time there's an empowered uh, enemy or not. I think, I think it's random if they, uh, they pop up. To be fair, they could have they could have added like game mechanics that make people have to uh, do shit to get equipment. Like, imagine, imagine if they did that, people would lose their shit. At least everyone that hates this game. Oh man, why is it why is it like my volume settings are all of a sudden louder? What the? That was weird. Goddamn. Hold on a second. Alright, there we go. That's, that's a little better. Alright. Make sure I actually have my right shit loaded here. Whoop. Oh boy. My aim is bad. Don't worry. One meatball down. But two are meatballs. Oh. Ow. 
Ow. Ah, uh, let me in the lift. Thank you. Ow. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. Hi there, sir. Excuse me. Thanks. <laughs> good to see you. Have a good day. Whoa there, biscuit. Oh, man. Are you so close to die, die? Holy shit, that was close. Holy mother of pearl. Oof, I was actually... I cut that a little close at the end there. I kind of got trapped up against the... Uh, oh, hi, Lost Souls. How's it going? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Good to see you again, sir. than I wanted it to be, but... Eh. Steel DLC's already cranked it up to 11. This thing is so fucking good. Ballista, what a beast cannon. Can I even make that jump? Probably not. You know what? I'll try. We'll try. Alright. Well, I attempted. That's all that matters. Excuse me. I am using this elevator. Elevator. Wait, didn't I already use this? Or am I, am I just literally brain? Am I literally a brainlet? Uh, I think I'm just stupid, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just stupid. <laughs> All right, well, back up we go. 
I feel like I'm, uh, what's that fucking planet Star Wars called that was in the, s the Attack of the Clones or whatever? Mm, so, like, the question here is... I have to get over there somehow, I think. Ah! Wait. Ah! Hehe. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Oh my god, I rolled those kids. Complete both secret encounters to unlock their award. Industrial espionage. One po oh, oh, it's like a skin, I think. That's kind of dope. Okay. So, my question now is, how do I get to where I want to go? Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta hit this. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm... Okay. Okay, okay. I get what I'm supposed to do, though. Absolutely rolled and smoked. No, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. What? I'm not even sure what I just climbed there. I didn't even... Huh. Alright. <laughs> no! I ran out of juice! Oh, I'm so bad. Is there a way to, like, land on that bar without actually having to double dash? That might be. I might just be screwing it up. We're good. I just gotta ride this. Wait a second. Oh man. Okay, so you I know what I'm supposed to do. I get it. There we go. We made it. 
Ooh, empowered demon. This will be fun. Oh boy. Ow. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Get up. I'll pet this guy up for a second here. Why am I so bad at this game? Oh my god. Wish I was gooder. You know? Just how it be, I guess. I didn't have enough fuel. All right, I'm just gonna back that ass up, you know? I'm gonna die. Oh, I don't have blood punch. I'm so doomed. Let me through! Coming through! I just needed to kill him in a certain way, and I didn't. Bruh. Oh, cool. That was a complete juke. They weren't ready for that, right? Oh, boy. This is, uh... This is looking a little rough, you know? Didn't know he was there. Fuck. Oh, God dang it. It's my fault. I didn't know he was. I, I, I lost track of him. I needed to pay better attention to that. Yeah, that was a hard fight. you motherfuckers hat I'm gonna wait uh, to get that skull uh, until I really need it see that's what they're trying to do they're trying to think you can debate me like that dude
Man, I'm getting real stuck on stuff. Oh, I'm backing that ass up. All right, I think we're gonna go get this right now. Three sixty, no scope. With my fist. Seven twenty, why, why? Excuse me, Mr. Archfile. I'm gonna have to ask you to uh, refrain from uh, hurting people. Thanks. It was a lot easier that time. All right, so I didn't grab the health. My biggest question is, uh, ah, I see. Okay, so the game wants me. Oh man, I don't have great weapons for this. It's fine. Okay. So, here's what I think. There's probably a way to get up into the ceiling, I would bet. At least I would think there would be. to do though I have to uh... no I don't have I don't know what to do here cuz I like I think I have to do a back bend maybe or something potentially me a lot better than I thought it would. Whoa there, big Bahaba. Holy shite. Supposed to go this way. Ooh, a cup tax piece. All right, I'll read a few of these just cause. It's written by the Seraphs that when the void first appeared, the father. Oh Jesus! Holy. Okay. Well, it is written by the Seraphs that when the first void appeared, the father alone swept across it. New realities bloomed where he lingered, and when he stopped to rest, Erdak sprung forth from him. Here, the father experimented until he created Jekad, a realm superior to Erdak. The father's gifted... The father gifted Jekad's denizens with burning ambition, uh, and he suppressed restraint so that indecisiveness could not curb their efforts. In the same moment, he brought forth Jekad. Uh, the father forged Davoth, to steward the realm, Davoth was a prime primeval, uh, one of the first or one of the father's first gods, and of such strength that each realm could contain only one. Alone, Jakad's minds achieved great marvels as they sought to create a paradise. They grasped for unimagined powers to create a perfect society. Davoth felt pride as his people aspired to greatness, but found their mortality to be a curse and ending. 
uh, he would never be subject subjected to. Eventually, their uh, their love of life and unbridled curiosity led them to seek immortality itself, as even Davoth feared his people and uh, his people's end. Well, he alone remained. Davoth bent all Jakad to see, uh, seeking this ultimate knowledge at any cost, as the father planned his next. Jesus, cr never mind. Oh my! Holy moly! How much more? <laughs> I'm not. I, sorry, I, I don't want to read all that. You know what? What I'll do is, if you guys want to read it, here's what I'll do. I'll do go to Codex. I'll hit Enter Content and I'll scroll and feel free to pause. Uh, and then read it. But I just don't feel like reading all that. Although these entries are a little bit shorter. Even then. Alright, so we found that. This door doesn't open, so we gotta go up. How long have I been playing? About an hour, I think. Hi there. Oh, hi there! Right, get Seraphim's key. So, how, wait. How do I get up there from here then? Uh, maybe I gotta do some, I gotta, oh, I gotta do some gymnastics, I see. Somehow. Ah, I understand. I understand. I think. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't fully understand. Well, here's what we're gonna have to do. I get up on this railing. Game doesn't. Okay. All right, game. You don't want. I. I get it. You don't want me to stand on your railing. Okay. So from here, where the fuck do I go? Oh, maybe I. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm. <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do, I just bo I just botched the living shit out of it. Okay. Up. And there. There we go, we made it. Oh boy, turrets everywhere, fun. Okay. I mean... Oh boy.
Broken neck. got trapped fuck that's my fault I knew he was there I just didn't get out of the fucking way in time I missed I dashed into him instead of sideways that pretty much cost me there honestly actually take a shot every time I say honestly cuz <laughs> he'll be dead by the end of the video <laughs> all right I think actually we're just gonna call the video there cuz we're at what's my uptime currently 52 minutes. All right, we'll we'll try. We'll give this one more attempt. We'll give it one more attempt. Oh, I'm bad. Whoop. I'm bad at the game. What is going on with this? Whoop. Get out of my... Fucking way, fucking nerd. So I'm starting to drop frames, and I'm not really sure why. Oh man, this is not good. Taking me usually about one fight to kind of get like a gist of how the arena plays and like where I want to be But once I uh, once I kind of get the flow of the arena down, I'm generally fine Thank you intern Ooh, More lore pog Like I said earlier well, I can read this one. It's short 
Life spheres contain the memory, intelligence, will, and the essential nature of a being's consciousness, all of it contained by the mighty inventions of the Seraphs. Because of this, when the first Khan Maker died in the Siege of Khazad-dur, uh, their life sphere was carried from the field of battle to the Lunar uh, Lu Luminarium, Luminarium, there we go. Man, English is hard. Uh, for the Seraphs to reconstitute, when the Khan Maker returned to lead a host of Makers, their enemies fled before them in fright. Only most powerful, godlike, indomitable minds can survive the incredible stresses of having their essence fused into a life sphere, and fewer still can bear the agony of corporal resurrection. Okay. Alright, well, uh, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, I will be back in part two. hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all on the next one. Adios.